Welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring to you and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsa Godwin, and of course, to do the analysis and talking with me, I have my very reliable and interesting co anchors Ife Omai and Ife Olu Hi. Hi. Why are you smiling? I like that one. I like it. It's very uh -uh. reliable. It's nice to be reliable. Mm. Mm. Rely I, on well, me are you sure you're very reliable? Rely on me. Rely on me. Uh, I got you. Okay, cool. Well, you had breakfast today without Aww, thinking about me, so <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Tomorrow. Okay, cool. Um, Do you mean salami? You said salami. <laughs> you, you said my sal my meat is unhealthy, fair. <laughs> Did you bring it the healthy one? No, I have all unhealthy ones, so. Oh, sorry. I'm too healthy for unhealthy stuff. Okay, cool. I'm moving on while I enjoy my salami alone. Tory Lanez allegedly deported after Megan the Stallion shooting incident. According to reports, it said that the rapper won't return to the United States until his court dates. Can I say the funny thing that came to mind? <laughs> so when I was reading and I saw he was deported, I was like, where did he was deported? I saw Canada, I'm like, would you be fine? <laughs> <laughs> That's what a lot of people are getting from the story. Like, Canada is actually some people's destination, yeah. a dream destination. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, in this case, it's somebody's deportation camp. Mm. So it's hilarious in, in, that, in, that, as, in that aspect. I, I'm glad that he's getting cancelled on some serious level um, because, I, I, like we mentioned when this conversation was brought to the table, I wasn't really feeling Megan's uh, um, approach to the whole thing as to like covering it up and trying to like sh fix the thing streets. And I like the fans. I like maybe the this fact was the kind of thing he, she was trying to avoid for him mm, as well. Yeah, but I like that that the fans have kind of like demanded more for her for on her behalf because you need to really start to communicate that things are not acceptable and doing pele pele and that i understand if you don't learn through consequences sometimes you just never learn so mm. you should go back home it's fine um there are a lot of things surrounding the story for um the tory lanes and megan the stalin you know the different stories that uh the argument was instigated by um kylie jenner because he was flirting with kylie there there were rumors that it was the best friend that no it was the other friend that was also in the vehicle when tory lanes was arrested that shot and um, there are also rumors that she was physically aggressive towards Tory Lanez during the course of the argument. She's sitting on him, beating him up. But Tory Lanez is supposed to be dating Megan, right? Yeah, yeah. Like How she would you be dating a Megan and be flirting with a Kylie? I don't understand mm. this man, but it's okay. And but even, so, even, even, even that way, all the, all the options People still are so don't, confused. All the options still don't... Um, Give me a reason why it was necessary to pull. The and, and no, I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah. I, I haven't said that. Mm. So she, she valid. So there are different things. I think I just want the clear picture, which is something I would appreciate from Megan to stop all these. Um, let's well, cover. I think the gun was his. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, the, the gun bottom was, line of the yeah, story. Yeah, the I don't, yeah, I don't care about the story. The point is that you, because you can have gone. arguments in your house. That's fine. The reason why it's on the, uh, in conversation and it's trending is because he shot someone. That's all we needed to know. Because for the longest time. What was he an shot alley? out of the car. It hasn't been. He shot why her would leg. he? Not even. Let's forget about him confirmed. shooting. That's leg. why he was deported. That's what was confirmed. The, he the was found with a concealed weapon, which is a no, felony, no, 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 is no. enough to get you deported. Ago, he got confirmed that, that he, he shot, shot that, at her leg. That she was shot at. Her leg was shot at. Yes. They have not still told us who shot. At okay, the leg. But who's getting well, you just said he shot. Who's right? getting deported? Oh, if you have a concealed weapon, who had the criminal offense? Tory yeah. Lanez. But you said he shot, right? Yeah, he shot. But Why he did he shoot? That's the thing. Like everybody's against that. Like we don't know. But I, it's I don't just think it's fair for us to just be coming to or to be coming to give people stories that we have not confirmed and no one has confirmed that it was Tory Lanez who shot the leg. So Tory Lanez, well, shot. confirmed that he shot and the shot. And her leg was being shot at. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Tory Lanez shot. That's been confirmed. And, and Megan's leg has been shot at, but that's been confirmed. But we don't know if it was that he shot the same bullet was the one that, that shot, shot her leg. leg. Okay. It could okay. have been accidental discharge. Oh. Yeah. Could have but you said he shot. Wait. It could have. Wait. Relax now. He could have shot into the air. It bounced back and mm. hit the leg. Why did he shoot into that the air? That is the first. He that looks is like the major question. That's the cocoa of the matter. That is the matter. 
That's why my, my guy is getting deported, period. That's not why he's getting deported. Okay. The reason why he's getting deported is because he had a concealed weapon. He said he's been, he had a concealed weapon three weeks ago when the story launched and he wasn't deported. He was they deported got, as soon as he was arrested, as it, soon as he was granted It was granted the petition bail. from the fans that made, that made them even consider him getting and deported. That People don't get responded, deported. And that was why they responded saying that after his arrest, he was deported. So your petitions are totally unnecessary because we've done our job. But what is this argument about anyway? Let me mm -hmm. understand now. What are we arguing about? We're arguing about the fact that you're, you're trying to make it look like Baba was deported because he shot Megan the Stallion. Uh, that was not why he was deported. Okay, so why was he, he was deported? deported because he was carrying a concealed that weapon. That he shot? Not because he shot it. The fact that he hey. had the weapon is enough to get you deported. Are you guys not getting okay, it? Okay, moving on. Moving on. Let's move to Ghana. So that we'll stop talking Canada and US. <laughs> <laughs> Ghanaians are pushing for Shatawale to be honored by the states following his feature on Beyonce's Black is King album. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the best reaction. Let's calm down a bit. We have a lot of people to honor in Nigeria, fam. We you know what? I figured, I figured that. I figured that. Easy. When I saw this. I was like, yeah, Africans are quite progressive, but this is quite backward, if you ask me, because if that is the case, then all most of our celebrities should have ministerial roles right now. Mm. Do you understand? They should have ministerial appointments, because... But, come then, on, but then, how many Ghanaian artists have actually... That's I why, know, that's what that's you can why, get from that, this yeah. story, that their wins are... This type this of win is big new. for them. Yeah. It's also for new. now. Yeah. yeah, for now. It's it's not something that they're so used I, to. So I can understand you, where they're coming have, from. If you have the Whiskits and the... Burn the boys and no. the. You know, had a and song the two with savages, Vibes then like, Stone Boy has a song with um. And it was this big. Let's come with down. Who? With who? Vibes Cattell. May not be Vibes as big Cattell. as Beyonce. It was not me. It was not big. Mavado. I think Mavado? um Stone Boy has had song with the um, Morgan Heritage Brothers who and all that. They are big Jamaican guys after the Mali family. And that, that, and that the rest of the no, population they, does not care they, about. Do you know that Shatawale's song with Beyonce has reached China, it's gone to Russia, it's gone, like, it's circulated it's the entire universe because of Beyonce. So I don't think it's you can compare that. Either ways, it's still not enough reason to give them what they're asking for. Um, but I, I, state award, state reward. Oh, they said it's more like a boxer that goes out of the country to have a fight and win and come back home and then you give him an award and I'm like wow so we liken that to somebody getting his face punched I mean that's his career he chose to, for his face to be punched anyway so that is it's a career path you don't know how many punches he chose in the air in the studio before he gets his own song <laughs> recorded so, it so doesn't get at the same time back. I get I get where they are coming from and I also feel like nah it's not that deep the president though, already put out punch, a right? tweet yeah. which um a lot of people still feel like a president shouldn't have done that. Like, it's nah, okay. Ah, oh. a president can. Is it because Buhari is it's not a, Yeah, movie? that's Calm somebody down, that cares please. about his, his um, uh -uh. thing. This is putting Ghana on, like, Yeah, I mean, if somebody a wins a level, grand, I don't know yeah, if you guys know the meaning that. of that tweet. You do all. Like, <laughs> that's mean, like a slang in Ghana. Yeah, like, the, the meaning of you do all is like, ah, uh, you have done everything. Like, there's nothing else to be done. You have done what it. Else you have there, made though? history. Like, what else yeah, it's there, history, Featuring but coming from mm, a president, Carter, So what else mm -hmm. is there? It's big. Um, it's big, it's actually. Big. It's, it's this is not to downplay uh -uh. Um, the feature the and all yeah. that. No, no, it's not to downplay, but the, the award thing, the national states award, reward, states, uh, um, that's what I'm not sure about. Because if they started there, then Buhari should please get ready because we need to no. give a lot of people states uh, award. Which here. state reward? <laughs> ministerial appointments. Oh, okay, that's yes, what you want. What would they be ministry? I don't understand. Do you put the ministerial appointments in just for... Uh, if they think that this deserves a uh, state reward. State reward. reward is I not guess if you put things in context, some people... Nah, there's no context. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was trying to even try and help them, but I don't see because I was thinking obviously I know that. And I know Ghanaians will probably think this is some 18th speech, huh. but I just want yes, yes, they think it's some 18th speech because um that's how they feel like Nigerians are always trying to target. Yeah. That's what them. I was even trying to say. Like if I, I I felt like if somebody from Botswana came now and did this and put the pla on the platform, I feel like I would, Understand. I would no, I would respect them it probably a bit more than I would for someone like Whiskey in Nigeria because we have the population, we have the resources, we have the backing. Our industry is pretty rich that somebody can come inside and blow really massive but then the hurdles that you face 
in uh, Botswana getting your music on a global platform to even get Beyonce's attention, I will give you a bigger round of applause and probably dance for you. But does that still mean that you get a state reward? I don't think so. But that's what I was trying to use that to see if I understand that for Ghana. But I feel like Ghana is not as small and they've had good wins. And like, they, and maybe I think, and, and it, I think it could Ghana be as little as competition. having a Shatawale day. It's not, it's, it's, I mean, ah. Whiskey has a Whiskey day in what country is that again? Something like that. I can't remember how that story goes. But it's not, it's, is it's not, not like a, a public deal. holiday that people will not Somewhere, go to work. Somewhere there was a... There and was, they will not go to no, work. Not like they won't go to work. Well, you but you acknowledge to be, it. You like, acknowledge yeah, it. Like yeah. Best Friends Day, Mother's Day. Something like yeah. that. Hmm. Okay. Um, tea Time will be right back with more stories in the world of entertainment. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, <laughs> welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nigerian singer Simi apologizes to the LGBT community over her homophobic comments. So, um, I think months back on her show on YouTube, she mm. said something that wasn't sitting well. That, well, that wasn't sensitive for that the community. That being gay or being it's an homosexual natural. isn't natural. Mm. And that is not being scientifically proven. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that the people... Has it? rock is she living in? Of course it has. Okay, all right. Okay, so on this one, I'm not going to lie, I'm one of those people that um, when it comes to the context of Nigeria, I'm not saying that if I leave the shores of this country right now, I will be against the LGBT community. But in Nigeria, yeah, I guess. Uh... But in Nigeria, I won't be able to relate or understand it because it's not part of the culture. Why? Wait, wait, hold on. She has gone to culture is, again. Is, Stay with yeah. the law. Stay with law. Yeah, it's, culture, it's, 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 it's not part of my culture. It's not legal in my country. So I would not openly, with open arms, say, oh, I welcome the LGBT um, well, if you go abroad, you would do that. Yeah, because it's part, it's legal over there. It's part of their, I wouldn't say it's part of their culture, but it's legal. They walk freely. They so LGBTQ all of that. life matters abroad, but not in Nigeria. That's not, no, you know what? I'm just, I'm making trouble, sorry. Okay, trouble accepted. But um, I wouldn't say I would understand it. I wouldn't be like, if I see a member of the LGBT community, I would probably, I won't be homophobic towards you. I won't probably um, do some slurs or say some nasty things, as long as you don't bring it close to me, but I would not totally be accepting or, mm. or, 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 or accepting or supportive of your action, lifestyle. of your lifestyle, but it doesn't mean I hate you. It doesn't mean I won't be able to relate with you. It doesn't mean we can't have a conversation. It doesn't mean you can't sit next to me. Do you understand? But the moment you bring it to me, I'll probably be the first to call the police. Do you understand? But um, when I saw Simi's post, I became humbled in our words as well. Because she said, and it, sometimes some things have to come close to home for you to really understand it. She said she saw someone almost killed because of their involvement in the LGBT community. You know, when you see such things firsthand, and you realize that this person breathes just like me. Mm. This person bleeds just like me. This person goes to the toilet. This person just, hasn't hurt anyone. This person hasn't yeah. done anything. This, just, this person just has a different sexual orientation. And this person is almost murdered. Mm. We even have sympathy for and robbers when you mm. see them being linked with mm. jungle justice. You understand? Mm. We have some like, come on, man. Now, now, tiffy, tiff. Mm. Can he just be handed over to the police? You mm. get, we have such sympathy. Not to know because somebody that hasn't really done anything life-threatening to mm. anybody mm -hmm. and is getting 
violated in such mm. a manner, of course it would touch anyone. I haven't seen such a scenario where somebody is being beaten for no, their it sexual. Happens a lot. No, but I haven't seen yeah, it firsthand. But yeah. she has seen it mm. and she was on board. And when I thought about when I read her post, I was like, wow, it takes mm. you to actually see these things to Empathy. understand where these people are coming from. So I kind of got it. Yeah. And I just want to say if I've also said anything, you know. Mm. Um, disturbing to the LGBT community or inconsiderate, even mm. in Nigeria, abroad, wherever, I'm totally sorry because mm. you're human. We may not understand. I may not understand because that's not my sexual orientation, but mm. it's yours and it's your belief. It's what you want to do. It's what makes you happy. So, and I think everybody deserves that. That's just the bottom line. So I appreciate how Simi put this out there. The apology was apt. It was on mm. point and everything. So big yeah. shout out to her for this uh, one. Yeah, agreed. I like that she posted that. One thing I wanted to address was if it was, it could be natural. Um, there's been many, 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 many evidences of the of being homosexual, even in other animal kingdoms. So if you want to say something natural, then look at that. If we've never seen, like, let's say an ape walking on its head, and you start to see an ape walking on its head, then you say something is unnatural. But if you start to see that it's in other elements um, of life, I would even argue, well, from what god has revealed to me based on his creation i don't think he's that binary with sexuality because he's made people who have vaginas and penises together in the same body which are hermaphrodite so i don't for me it is extremely natural it's not just natural for me personally because i don't i'm not wired that way and i wasn't born that way but that's obviously for me to even go and look for that type of knowledge it's because i'm interested in being that unbiased to find answers you see men who have very little testosterone can't grow chest hair they are not even like let me say man enough and you see women with muscles and everything so there's diversity in sexuality based on creation from god period that's my opinion so just answer that question for her that she made in the video but coming to her her message i really liked the write-up i liked how she also acknowledged that sometimes because you can you can uh, you can say things like you even accepting of her, her of her theory somebody could look at it and say i still don't want that life and don't bring in me and i'll say what i want to say is my opinion but the problem with those type of opinions which she mentioned in that note that i feel like was so important is that your opinion can be um contributing to the Prejudice. oppression of another person so if i keep saying like if a white person keeps saying no black people steal too much no black people that's just my opinion black people have stolen from me and like it's your truth or whatever it's your opinion but if you keep on perpetrating that opinion out loud mm. what you're doing you might you might not think it matters but it's adding to the drop of the ocean that's already there and you're perpetrating the ills that's already happening to another person so i like that she called herself out on that and so it's i don't think everyone needs to understand like even the decisions i make who i'm attracted to as in the man mm. i'm even attracted to some girls can understand that mm. so i don't think it's your job to necessarily understand where they're coming from why they're like that but i think every single person like you mentioned deserves respect deserves a level of like dignity given to them on based on how they want to live their lives now it's up to you now to then um keep your own thing to it so same thing i said about Black, big brother niger oh my children are not going to watch it that's fine tailor your life but leave other people to do their own things hmm. i like how you talked about understanding and i mean for what it is it might be really difficult for some people to understand the concept of um the sexual orientation that comes into that community but what I like in her write-up for me is the fact that she acknowledged that she is willing and ready to, to learn. learn and understand what exactly they feel. She might not get there 100%, but whatever it is she saw or experienced have given her that will to say, I want to be able to understand these people. I want to be able to relate with them. Mm. It doesn't mean you have to now become them mm. or that you have to be gay or bisexual mm. or anything. It just means that you want to accept them as human beings and understand that their own choices are valid as well. So... As much as, yes, in Nigeria, it's not legal and all that. It's, I, I don't think it's also legal in Nigeria to lynch anyone. Mm. I don't think it's also legal mm. in Nigeria to kill someone for even killing someone. It's mm. not your job. You're supposed to hand them over to the to proper God. authorities, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, we need to have that at the back of our mind. Even when we're talking about, oh, our religion, this, our religion, that. Understand that your religion is just one out of hundreds it's of religion really, in the yeah. whole world and nobody has come out to tell you your religion is the one that must go to heaven everybody mm. thinks that their religion is the best and it's going mm. to heaven so just do you do your belief let people live their own lives as long as they're not bringing it to you like if it has rightly said mm. basically so i think that's it for me and kudos to simi she she handles almost everything perfect and yeah it's just really amazing to see yeah. yeah i think it also she'll be a great mother 
Mm, I hope so. I, hope so too. I, I know remember so. somebody saying on Twitter that what if your daughter mm? <laughs> has gay tendencies or how you um, respond to that. I think another thing is That's that, another conversation, yes, actually, but yeah. Because I, I know I know that a lot of people who are progressive, they I feel like sometimes it, the, the standard is a bit too high for them because people came at her a bit too harsh because Simi is supposed to be the one that's like really progressive and knows all the liberal thinking and things like that. But I don't think everyone is aware so even some things in the lgbtq even though as much as i'm an ally there's some things in the lgbtq community that i'm like i don't understand but then i keep on thinking is this really my place to understand is it my place what, what is my role there if it's if i don't feel 100 percent convinced i might not support but i have to make sure that i'm not part of the problem either and I, I, that goes for just in any other thing so i like that people are also giving her the space to make mistakes and grow like mm -hmm. you mentioned yeah because people your faith can say something really disappointing i can say something that's super disappointing but the grace to be able to do that with it, it another thing important. i admire is the fact um, that she's able to take back her words and actually accept that I made a mistake and I'm out here and I'm learning, I'm human. You get not a lot of celebrities who be like, ah, I don't talk him, I don't talk him, yeah. it's months ago. But she still came back to address it following an experience she recently had. A lot of people won't do that. So I think it takes a lot of humility and a lot of willingness to change. And maybe she also needs to start to look at stupid, what's the name of the stupid session? Stupid mm -hmm. session more carefully. Even the way she looks and the way she comes to the stage i think she's quite like elastical about it and that's a vibe on its yeah, own it's that's stupid. nice I think that's but, a then, vibe. but then i think you need to also this for me would make me want her to think should you maybe be more careful and maybe think about what you want to say before you say it out loud because now the platform is getting bigger people are watching and people are holding your word seriously yeah, so but maybe then regardless i don't think we need to put that level of pressure on that show if not it will now become we something that tell, is tailored yeah. to be politically correct Thank you. the fact that Asimi is making this mistake and correcting her mistake is the reason so, a lot of people yeah, also so correct let us mistake so i think they should come as natural and if there's a conversation that starts from that natural self of theirs mm. then we can correct each other and well, learn which is why i like the idea Hate or anything, yeah, of course, she doesn't do fine. that anyway. Mm. So, which is why I like the idea of you talking about we need to move beyond the cancel culture. Like, mm. we are humans, we don't know it all, we cannot know it all. So, there needs to be room to learn. And um, if we now see that this one does not want to learn and you don't want to, like, you don't really care, then maybe we can start thinking of that cancel culture. Mm. Maybe you see one tweet of someone <laughs> trying to cancel report, culture will really work in Nigeria. <laughs> see someone though. trying to report a person to his company, I realize that he's the owner of the company anyway. Mm. So, at the end of the day, we just need to do better. I think so. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 605719 or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash. Okay? Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do. Stay safe.